Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Meet Meme Nation. Uh, hope you guys had a good Christmas, a good New Year's. David, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing well, doing well. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Doing well, doing well. Josh is our guest today on Meet Me Nation. He's a uh, part of uh, Roadrunner Ice Hockey. There's going to be a lot of news coming up as they start to get integrated within UTSA. Uh, really, really happy to have him on, on, on the broadcast today. And uh, the whole episode is really going to be focused on, on ice hockey. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, just to jump right into it. Um, Josh, you know, give us a little bit about your background, how you got into hockey. I know previously you mentioned, you know, you had a little bit of Canadian background as well. So that's a, a huge geographic difference between being in Texas oh, yeah. and Canada. Um, can you just give us a little bit about your background? Yeah, of course. So uh, my dad is a uh, French Canadian, um, kind of grew up up north near uh, New York, uh, New York, Massachusetts area. Uh, my mom is actually Indonesian. She's a uh, first gen. So uh, hockey coming to me was very, uh, you, you won't believe it, but it was actually my mom uh, getting me into it. But I'll go more in depth, uh, kind of like with how I grew up. Uh, I grew up in Dallas, which uh, Back then, uh, it's not very. It wasn't very big on hockey. We do have a pro team, but it was still growing. At least the sport was. Uh, knowing that my dad did grow up playing it just briefly around in you know in Massachusetts, uh, you know he uh, he had some background in it. But in reality, what got me into the sport uh, was actually my mom just getting a coupon just to go ice skating. Uh, what they did is they tried to stick me in a bunch of sports like t-ball, soccer, tennis. And obviously, honestly, just so much. But uh, when they took me skating for the first time, I fell in love with it. Uh, they just and then, you know, we kept coming back. I attended, you know, hockey one on one, which is basically hockey for beginners back in Dallas. And uh, I've been a student of the game ever since. Nice. Nice, man. That's awesome. So I guess getting into kind of hockey at UTSA, what what made you guys want to start the program back up? Because I know it was a thing a while back and I knew it kind of went away. But what made you all want to? Come back. Yeah. So the team originally was started in 2007 and actually disbanded in 2012 due to insufficient funds to actually maintain the program. But while we brought it back, um, similar to Brandon, our other VP, and Noah, our president, uh, we actually just all grew up playing the sport. So uh, this year in particular, uh, actually, let me think. Um, this would actually be my 14th year playing, which is a uh, astonishingly kind of long now that I'm thinking <laughs> about it. But uh, in reality, we all felt a piece of our childhood was missing, um, that we weren't quite ready to officially let go. Um, you know, so we, you know, we all played competitive hockey growing up. You know, Noah grew up here. I grew up in Dallas. We all played select travel high school. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we wanted to bring it back. Uh, we already had the foundation from the last team because uh, it all was kept in the archives. So uh, that definitely helped us a little bit, but but now that we're back, you you know we're getting a huge response from our students and uh, you know former hockey fans. So yeah, it's nice. Nice, nice. No, that's awesome, man. So far, I mean, with what you guys have done, I've seen a lot of photos, and man, whenever we post anything you just say hockey related on Twitter or Facebook, like there's like a lot of people that are like super excited about that. Um, so definitely a lot of like you know support here that's waiting for for you guys to go official. Um, I guess what's your experience been so far with UTSA hockey? Like as far as seasons played and and where you guys play, like how's that been and how have you guys been able to maneuver it without I guess being um, an official club yet? So um, we actually were a little handicapped at the beginning of the year, so we didn't become a student org until I want to say around like maybe September. So we kind of missed that whole opening um, welcome week to table and everything because the school was kind of slow when it came to getting back to us and when we submitted our constitution and everything. Uh, it took a while for it to get processed. But ever since then, the response has been amazing with our students. Uh, we just, you know, we promote on our page or all of our pages. We got a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X now. But uh, we, uh, we promote everything. We promote, uh, you know, we've been going to a lot of community service events recently. We did a couple of truck or treats, one with uh, Pathways and another one with a uh, local church where we had, you know, great outcomes and a lot of people coming by saying, hey, you know, uh, this is new. I'm new to hockey. I want to learn more about it, where your games and so on. So, yes, and there's yes. also, uh, we, there actually used to be a couple of semi pro teams here. Uh, one being a former junior team called the San Antonio Iguanas mm -hmm. and a former minor league team, uh, which was in the AHL, which is the sub team 
or the team below the NHL called the San Antonio Rampage. So uh, definitely, um, you know, definitely kind of getting old fans out of the woodwork from them. They've been coming to our games and following our page. And we've had a, a former announcer for the Rampage actually reach out, ask if there was an opportunity for him. So, you know, that's, that's really nice to hear. But, um, but yeah, you know, we try and stay active within the community. Uh, we actually uh, have a partnership with the rink here at Northwoods, which is, uh, I want to say, 15 minutes away from UTSA. Mm -hmm. uh, and with the travel hockey team there, the San Antonio Junior Rampage. Nice. Um, but we recently participated in a uh, volunteer event uh, by USA Hockey called uh, Try Hockey for Free, where families are welcome to come by and introduce the sport to the children, you know, to explain to uh, promote the the youth game of hockey. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had a huge turnout for that. I think we had over uh, 80 or 90 kids come out and, you know, test, you know, try and skate, you know, with sticks, full gear, and it all comes free. Nice. So, yeah, it was it was great. But, uh, um, but yeah, no, support from students and families all alike has been amazing. It's just like it almost seems like uh, you guys do, like, a lot of charity work too outside of just playing the game. Yeah, yeah, we are – we do a lot, honestly. We try, we try and get out as much as we can, you know, promote the, you know, support the community as once we start playing collegiate next year, they're going to have to mm -hmm. come support us in return. So yeah. um, definitely want to, you know, put our, put it, put us out as much as we can and, you know, show that we're here for them. They're here for us. And yeah, just, you know, pro promote the game as much as we can. Nice. Well, that's awesome, man. Uh, so I guess so I guess my question was, how many guys did y'all have like starting out? Have y'all grown in size since announcing that y'all wanted to bring it back? Uh, how many how many players did we players. start with? I guess yeah. yeah. So um, as of right now, uh, we have I want to say about twenty three players. Wow. Twenty three and growing. Uh, we have a pretty full roster with our team already, and it's just going to get even you know even bigger with incoming freshmen and then you know with more tape the more we table the more players will find you know out of the woodwork we've had so many people come by and be like oh i haven't played in two or three years but i'd love to get started again so mm -hmm. we've been you know we've been working them into it you know taking them out to some skates just letting them get used to the game again but yeah. uh yeah we are going to be i believe a pretty competitive team next year against all the other college teams so we're definitely That's excited fun. for it yeah, I guess that kind of goes into my next question with, uh, like, who do you guys, who are you guys going to play whenever y'all become an official team? Uh, so we're actually slated to play in uh, ACHA's Division Two, which is the, you know, the big club league that oversees all the other colleges. Um, so we're going to play a variety of teams. I can't list all of them because there's so many. But yeah. I'm going to list, uh, I'm going to drop some in-state teams that we will definitely play and uh, maybe even hint a uh, possible spring scrimmage this semester. But we'll be playing um, University of Houston, uh, Texas State, UT, SMU, Dallas Baptist, UNT, and A&M, just to name a few for in-state teams. And then a couple out-state teams being like LSU, Oklahoma State, OU maybe. So uh, we'll be pretty active. Uh, our game schedule for next year is going to be, I want to say, 16 to 18 games. So we're going to have a pretty busy schedule, uh, both home and away. But next year, do you mean, um, I guess, this coming semester or like 2025? It would be the next academic year. So 2024, 2025. Got it. Okay. Um, it's just because uh, we need to, with ACHA, they need us to play in an independent league. So right now mm -hmm. we're just playing in an adult league. Got it. Okay. Uh, just to show that, you know, we're stable. We're a committed team to joining the actual league. But mm -hmm. We won our last adult league championship by a mile. So, <laughs> yeah, I saw that on y'all's social uh, medias. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're ready. We're excited. So, uh, and uh, just to drop a little hint, we've been talking to Houston for possibly doing a scrimmage with them nice. uh, this spring and March, hopefully. So, if everything pans out, just expect to, you know, we got a good college rivalry brewing with oh, them. Yeah. Uh, they chartered actually this year and they're playing their first collegiate year right now. So, nice. Oh, nice. You know, going to be a little bit of a battle of the expansion teams here. So I'm excited for it. Are there awesome. any other colleges in Texas that have like an established ice hockey program right now as far as club goes? Oh, yeah, tons. Honestly, any – every honestly, every public school probably has a club hockey team right now. Mm -hmm. We're kind of late to it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, UT, SMU, Dallas Baptist, UNT, and um, 
Yeah. They all have a good team. Uh, I, East Texas has a team out there mm. as well. And I believe um, uh, I've been hearing rumbles that uh, El pa- the uh, UT El Paso is going to bring back their team too. Dang, okay. So yeah, the, uh, Texas Texas hockey's growing. Uh, it's and it all you know comes down to the youth and uh, you know marketing to the youth and stuff. So it's nice. I'm assuming like with Dallas having the stars, like they would probably be the top right now, right? When it comes to hockey or. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dallas is definitely the top. They have a lot of, a lot of travel teams, youth hockey yeah. and stuff, but it's growing down South for sure. I mean, yeah, UT has yeah. been doing a lot. Um, A&M has been doing a lot. Texas state has been too. So we're kind of glad. And we're kind of glad that San Antonio has actually had a background with teams here. Right. So uh, we're just kind of bringing those fans right back out and, uh, you know, come support us as being the only semi-professional team here. For sure. In San Antonio. Yeah, it kind of goes into uh, the next question, which is like, where do you see UTSA hockey progressing? Obviously, right now you're just starting out. So, you know, sky's the limit. But in the short term, in the next few years, during your tenure at, at UTSA, what are your goals for where you'd like to see the program finish by the time you graduate? And then, you know, longer term, you know, decade down the line, um, where do you see the potential for the club being and where would you like the club to be? That's a great question. Uh, I guess in the near future, um, just, you know, advertise, just make sure we have a very, very stable foundation to this team. So by the time we graduate, uh, Noah, Brandon and I, that, you know, the the team will be left in good hands. So we're just going to, you know, continue reaching out to students and selling merch and, you know, trying to find more hockey players for the team as well mm-hmm. while we gear up for our first collegiate season this upcoming year. But uh, long term, guys, uh, like I said, as being the only semi-professional team in San Antonio, we're hoping to, you know, rejuvenate the love of the game back to, you know, San Antonians mm-hmm. and finally put San Antonio back on the map in the world of ice hockey. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely trying to, you know, promote more uh, opportunities for youth hockey as well with Northwoods, uh, which is the rink we play at, mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, advertise our team there as well so everybody knows about our team. Uh, we've been looking into actually buying the – the center logo for the ice, which would be kind of huge for the school. Mm. But, you know, overall, you know, 10 years from now, we're hoping that we can actually play in like a a well-known arena. I know Oklahoma State plays at the BOK Center. I don't know if you have seen that, but it's a huge arena. Mm. Um, But we're looking into maybe playing in the Coliseum 10 years from now, which whereas the Iguanas used to play there, I believe. So, um and then uh, hopefully, you know, there's been rumblings that another major league team, major NHL league team might come to Houston because they're just building an ice machine. So nice. hopefully if that comes along, we can put San Antonio on the map enough to where they put another minor league team here back in uh, San Antonio, just to help promote the game a little bit more. For sure. It's definitely a little hard having one rink, but the rink, you know, works really well with us. We work well with them and they have a great youth program. So uh, definitely looking forward to seeing how this team progresses in the future. Nice, nice. As far as recruiting goes, like adding players to your team, um, is that something that you guys have gone out proactively to try to get students to to join, or have you just seen like an influx of them naturally coming in? So uh, that's a great question. Uh, Noah, our president, actually has all the connections for for stuff like that. He's been reaching out to other teams and recruiting them, mm-hmm. their players, to come to our team, and we've been pretty successful with that. Honestly, nice. Uh, we've had probably maybe six to seven players transfer to UTSA to come play for us this upcoming year yes. or six to seven interested in transferring, but three probably confirmed for right now. But um, yeah, we're definitely, you know, we started advertising to some of the local high school teams back in Dallas where I'm from. Cause I believe there's like 15 or 16 of them. There's a ton of them back there. So mm-hmm. I have some connections with them. So we're creating a flyer right now. We're going to send it to them, trying to get them to come to UTSA and uh, play for the team. Uh, and then, you know, finally, there's a bunch of prospect showcases in the summer that we can attend as well as a team, and, you know, you know, recruit and promote, you know, the benefit of San Antonio, because, you know, as we are a team, we are academics first. Mm-hmm. So we obviously want our students or players to have, you know, the best academic yeah. opportunities for them. So we definitely look into, you know, what they're majoring and what they're looking to do with their life and so on. So I guess so being a being a club sport, you're not playing for like the NCAA national championship. But what is y'all's like 
what, what's the end goal in, in club hockey compared to like a national championship? There is national championships actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for it would be like the ACHA national championship. And while it's oh, not NCAA, okay. they do get a lot of exposure. I mean, there's a huge, there's a bunch of pages surrounding, uh, you know, ACHA on Instagram called Hockey House, Hockey House Pod, and ACHA Show, where you can see, you know, ACHA teams filling arenas, fans filling oh. arenas, and we've had a huge, um, you know, come out too. And we've just barely been advertising our games. I mean. Imagine when we start, you know, promoting actual college teams against actual college teams. We're going to yeah, yeah. have a huge fan base come out, as we hope. But, um, but yeah, uh, as of right now, we're just looking into, you know, getting into the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for but sure. uh, work our way up from there. I think we definitely, for first year, they don't let first year teams make the playoffs, unfortunately. But mm -hmm. if, we, if we're competitive, we have a winning record, then, you know, we're, we're showing the other teams like, hey, you better stay on your toes here. We're coming for you. Got so yeah, for sure. we win ACHA, the championship here at ACHA, uh, Texas, Oklahoma region, then, yeah, we'll qualify for Natties. That's awesome. As far as like funds go, um, do you guys rely mostly on like doing fundraisers or I guess I'm assuming I'm obviously once you become a club, um, you can say we'll give you a stipend as well. But for now, mm -hmm. at least, how do you guys manage, um, you know, supplying everyone and, and keeping financials up? So we have a we have player dues, um, which I can't specify how much they are, but mm -hmm. we are going to look into uh, doing a bunch of uh, sponsorships with companies such as a um what we want to do is there is a where we have a sponsorship package for our top sponsor where they actually get to put their logo on our jersey our nice. game jerseys so they you know every game we go to their logo will be shown or they can put it on our helmet if they would like it just depends yeah. on the company's preference and kind of like how it lands with our official jerseys but mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we have those as a cho choice. We're going to be doing uh, game day sponsors, and I'm looking into getting an official drink sponsor. I actually just became a collegiate ambassador with Monster Energy, so looking into hopefully making a connection with the hockey team and them. Nice. But uh, but yeah, uh, when it comes to the school, we definitely have some support from them. We're definitely going to be doing some fundraisers. We're looking into. Uh, having you know selling some pucks here in the near future with the logo on it and everything and uh obviously we have that merch store coming out soon mm -hmm. but yeah as far as like um if a business is listening and they want to they want to potentially pursue you know having a logo on, on your jersey or helmet mm -hmm. who would be the right person to contact how would they go about doing that i would uh just reach out to roadrunner club hockey at gmail.com Perfect. Uh, from there, I can reach out to you individually in terms of uh, what our sponsorship negotiation would look like. But uh, we have tons of uh, benefits for you along with our team as well. Uh, and we have a huge, like, we have a flyer that we can present to you if you don't want to do the top sponsor option. We do have lower levels as well. Nice. Cool. David, you got any more questions? I got to, if not, I can jump into the Twitter and Facebook questions. I guess it's just like where... Like where can everyone follow you at along with like your teammates and kind of see where y'all are going to be playing, how y'all are going to be playing and things like that. Uh, I believe you could shoot us a follow on every socials. I believe we're roadrunner ice hockey, but uh, on X, we are birds up hockey. That, that is perfect. a question for the other vice president. I don't know why he hasn't changed it, but no, I'm messing sure. with you. I, I know he's going to listen to this. He's going to be like, ah, <laughs> screw you. But, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely shoot us a follow. We keep everybody updated. Uh, as of right now, we don't we don't tag our players, but uh, yeah, if you can see them commenting, shoot them a follow. If you ever have any questions, you can you know ask them as well. But if you do want to get involved, we do have a volunteer form and group me that you can join. Where eventually we are going to need volunteers to come out and you know work our games. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing tickets and all that. So it would be a huge help if we can get some volunteers. Definitely. Awesome. Yes. Um, yeah, I guess with that, we'll jump into a couple of questions that we had on, on Facebook and Twitter that came in or X. Um, one came from uh, Miguel Esparza, and I think this is more of a jab, but he's a part of the UTSA quad ball, and he says, uh, oh. does UTSA's quad ball – 2023 national championship make them the goat of club sports or does uh, does uh you know does ice hockey have a, a chance to dethrone them 
Uh, I, my message to them is that we're coming for them. Right, we'll be the next <laughs> national championship. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, Adam Weaver on Facebook asked, uh, when will hockey jerseys be available for purchase? I know that you guys posted a little uh, preview today on, on Twitter and, uh, or X, and we retweeted that. But um, do you guys have like a set date? Uh, we do. And I will. we haven't released it yet, but I'll release it here on the podcast. Nice. Uh, keep your eyes open for that second week of school. Uh, that's when we'll be releasing it. Uh, releasing the merch store for a limited time, we have – up, we have custom jerseys down to polos and water bottles for you to buy. So it's a very well detailed merch store, uh, really fair prices and uh, great quality clothing from X jerseys, which is our, really our, uh, our merchandise partner. So there you go. I'm yeah, gonna make really nice hockey jerseys. Oh yeah. Nice hockey jerseys. They're, they're nice. They're nice. <laughs> I'm not sure if you or somebody else posted them, but like a few months ago, somebody posted a preview of UTC ice hockey jerseys and we retweeted that and that went like crazy. So the yeah. demand is, is definitely there. Um, on X, we had a question from uh, Eddie, the great 84. He asks, where are the games um, being played and where can we watch them? So they are hosted at our home games are hosted at Northwoods ice and golf center. So all our home games will be there. As of right now, all our games are streamed live on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. nice. which, which is kind of funny except for the game tonight but uh uh they're usually all live on twitch uh we, we're kind of little uh we have a couple games these next couple weeks but because our players aren't back in town yet we're a little short-handed so we haven't been advertising them but once school starts back up uh we'll be advertising them full on and you know but uh yeah so we're live on twitch and then once collegiate uh comes around there is a uh, you know, live providers with announcers and stuff. Uh, Black Dog Energy is one of them. So hopefully we can reach out to them and have them live stream our games. But as of right now, all our home games uh, will be played at Northwoods Ice and Golf Center, nice. which is 15 minutes away from UTSA, give or take. For Twitch, is it also going to be Birds of Hockey if somebody wants to, to view it? I believe that's actually Roadrunner Ice Hockey. But yeah. it's all linked in our Instagram uh, link tree. Or not link tree, but in the – just like the little links page. Got it. Perfect. Yeah, that about does it for the questions that we had that came in. Um, Josh, you got anything you want to close with? Uh, all I can say is uh, so far for anybody who's listening and have shown us support, thank you so much. It means a lot to the team, the players, and uh, the community. Um, if you haven't had the chance to come check out our game or any of our socials, please do. Uh, we're a growing team, and we want to keep growing, so we need your help for that. But uh, that's all I got. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Thanks for coming on, and we're really excited. I think you should say it's, like, really cool in the sense that, like, we have a pretty big student body, but things like ice hockey and a lot of other club activities, like, aren't really established yet. So individuals that step up and, and try to do that can make a really big impact long term. Um, and so really, really excited. Obviously, you know, whenever we tweet stuff and share it on Facebook, the demand is clearly there. So we're really, really excited for you guys. And, uh, you know, hope maybe later on the season to have you guys back on again. Oh, yeah, of course. It's only going to keep growing from here. Only, only up. Definitely. Definitely. Well, that wraps up um, our episode today of Meet Me Nation. Uh, we'll probably have uh, the other news as far as football transfers and other sports um, in another episode later this week or next week. Uh, but we appreciate you guys joining in, and we'll catch you guys later. Meet me.